Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB lawyer Ifanye Jofo, has said sit at home protest is dead, buried in southeast Nigeria. And the Kano has spoken. Barista Ifanye Jofo, lawyer representing the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Mazo Indu Namdekano has reiterated that the sit at home protest is dead and buried in the southeast region of Nigeria, as ordered by Namdekano announcing the total cancellation is final. Ejiofo on Sunday said that whosoever wishes to voluntarily observe any, further, any form of illegal sit at home should critically assess the unquantifiable damages arising therefrom and rather welcome Mazo Namdekano's pronouncement totally cancelling the order. He also asked the people of the region to reject what is described as dangerous tendencies of criminal elements using Kanu's name to do the gullible and vulnerable. If I hear for wrote on his Twitter and was saying, sit at home is dead and buried. The oracle, Mazin Amde Kanu himself has spoken, even it is even if it is to voluntarily observe, our people are advised to critically assess the unquantifiable damage arising therefrom and wisely welcome his unequivocal pronouncement by Kanu, totally cancelling any form of the seat at home and reject the dangerous tendencies of the criminal elements using the reverend name in Amde Kanu to do the gullible and vulnerable. Before it was worshipped packed in the bank of River Niger and River Bene, then it was Biafra coming in 350 days. Now it is done for a phantom two week two weeks seat at home palliative. Before you donate, ask yourself where and places any imaginable seat at home as was observed. Let our people put on their thinking caps and resist these serial fraudsters whose sole aim is to exploit their, their underlying love for Biafra and Mazi Oindu Namdekanu. Biafras are gifted with wisdom and cannot, can no longer be subject of violence and manipulation. Sit at home, protest is dead and buried in the southeast of Nigeria. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra in Namdekanu has spoken. The indigenous people of Biafra lawyer said. We also recall that Mazi Oyindu Namdekanu's brother Kanunta has said that, that the alleged sit at home in the southeast has been cancelled by the indigenous people of Biafra leader in person of Mazi Oyindu in Namdekanu that the sit at home exercise is over in the southeast of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Kanunta said that for the avoidance of any doubt, Barista Aloy Jimako personally and physically met with Mazi Oindunamdekanu just days ago on the 24th of July 2023 and on the 27th of July 2023, Mazi Oindunamdekanu met with my younger sibling. The main event of the both visitations was the standing director order of Mazi Oindu Namdekano on the termination of the seat at home, which he issued, which he issued through Barista Aloy Jumako on the 24th of July 2023. Let us go on record to make it clear that Barista Aloy Jumako was not hired or retained by this Ima Powerful or the Department of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra IPOP, which Ima Powerful stated that he was speaking for. Instead, it was Mazi Oindu Namdekano in his official capacity as Supreme Leader of the indigenous people of Biafra that hired Ailo Ejimako in late 2017. So unless Ima Powerful and the DOS believe that Mazi Oindu Namdekano has become vegetative as they once rumored, how can they suddenly begin to make decisions for him? To be sure, what is propelling the DOS is the same animals and jealousy that has propelled them to mess up the first order issued by Mazi Oindu Namdekano in 2021, terminating the seat at home. The DOS are driven mad with jealousy and envy that the order was delivered to and announced by my humble self, Prince Kinsley Kanunta Kano, instead of, of by the DOS. And for this reason alone, the DOS sabotaged the initial effort by Mazi Oindu Namdekano to terminate of, terminate of the seat at home. For the avoidance of that, Mazi Oindu Namdekano referred to this sabotage in the latest order he issued to Barista Alo Ijimako and noted that how it has caused a rift 
between the DOS and himself to this day. It, it is a shame on the Department of State that they are again levying the same fratricida war on Barrister Alo Ejimako for the same silly reasons they have rondoused me back in 2021. Let it be clear that Barrister Alo Ejimako remarks on the said Arise television interview on the 28th of July was taken out of context and deliberately twisted to provide a silly justification to lynch him. In this interview, Barrister Alo Ejimako, when he was talking about followers of Mazio Indo Namdokano and Simon Epa, responded along this line that when the followers, when the and of Mazio Indo Namdokano or Simon Epa ask for good, bad or ugly, and do so in the name of Mazio Indo Namdokano, it is then attributed to Mazio Indo Namdokano just because he is the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. And such is unfair on Mazio Indo Namdokano, hence his reasons for issuing the six atom termination order to separate the apples from the oranges. So the DOS that is twisting these intelligence remarks out of context should ask themselves these questions. Who are the apples and the oranges? If Barista Alo Ejimako really meant that there is absolutely no difference in followership. Who are those that call themselves disciples of Mazio in the Namdekano that are loaded to in the six atom termination order? And why would Mazio in the Namdekano issue the order to Simon Elpa if he considers Simon Elpa as someone that is under his command and control? In the said DOS press release, Imam, Imam Powerful made a free one sleep when he originally stated in the first paragraph that why we agree that some misguided supporters of Simon Elpa are followers of Mazio in the Namdekano under the illusion that Simon Elpa is working for the release of Mazio in the Namdekano. This statement by Imam Paf is exactly another way of paraphrasing or interpreting the import or real meaning of what Barista Aloji Mako had said in the question of followership. So what is the beef between the DOS, if not jealousy, envy and all manners of twisted tendencies? In conclusion, it is it, it needs to be clear that in the case handled by Barista Aloji Mako, the IPOP or member of IPOP and Mazi Namdekano are the only parties. And where IPOP is not a party, it is Mazi Namdekano that is the party, and it is only because he is the supreme leader of IPOP. So, in that sense, it is still as IPOP case with Barista Eloji Mako as it is Vanguard. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.